Welcome back to Masculine Scrapping. This is the second spread in our memorial album for Joey, our first cat. And he loved sitting in our laps. Now, when every time I was sitting in my uh, chair watching TV, plop, just like you see right here. Uh, on our bed, same thing. This is my son when he's a little older. Don't ask me why he's in full winter gear inside. Um, I have no clue. Maybe he was getting ready to go out and the cat was like, look at the puffy jacket. I love that. So this was uh, paper, came from a paper, a cat paper pack. I designed the mats and these uh, graphics in Cricut Design Studio. These are drawn out and then cut on my maker. And same with here. This again, using a marker in the machine to put that uh, together. Do have this border strip and we will be sewing the pattern into this one so you'll see that at the end uh, of this uh, project. Again I do these uh, layouts ahead of time because uh, I they take a while to do and um, I just think you probably want to get closer to seeing uh, the final product and so I uh, design ahead of time and put a lot of the complicated stuff together ahead of time. These projects usually take me, I'd say, maybe half an hour, depending on how complicated it is to design and cut out. The more complicated, obviously, it will take longer. This one probably took half an hour of design time and, uh, and cut, draw and cut uh, time. So I do tend to pick uh, the background pages first because then that way it makes it a little easier to know what colors you need to use for your cutouts. So in this case I chose this green background paw paper and uh, uh, then that's what drove the color of the matting, it's what drove the color of the graphic as well as the uh, pen color I used uh, to to do the drawing. I'll just put a little plug in here for Cricut Design Studio and the Cricut Maker. Uh, it certainly has changed the way I do uh, scrapbooking. I used to do a lot more of pre-made stickers, which by the way I do love those as well. Um, but <clears throat> uh, Cricut really de allows me to design my own graphics, size them perfectly, and uh, And put them exactly where I want them. And that really, you, you kind of had that option before uh, if you did a lot of extra work. But there's certainly been a lot of advances in scrapbooking since I started. Okay. Got these two pages ready. We'll bring them together because <clears throat> I always like to make sure that I'm going to have them on perfectly before I start. So... Okay, there we go. I tend to put quite a bit of tape on these things um, because they're heavy and I don't want them to uh, come off the page. I would say that I probably use one roll of tape for every two albums which I know is a little more than what some other people use. <clears throat> I can go across that. But for me, it's just important to make sure that they are not going to fall apart. Uh, I know people who take one little tab and they make sure that each tab is just on there, but I'm using multiple tabs uh, because I don't want it to come off. Okay. And now this piece, now this piece will end up being sewn on, but I am going to get quite a bit of tape on it because sometimes the sewing process disrupts it a little bit. So, so there we go. Uh, we will come back here in a little bit so that you can see the angle from the sewing machine. All right, we are back at the sewing machine. I have it set up, ready to go. I am doing it upside down. Well, not upside down, but backwards, because uh, I don't have enough space here. And I'm using the exact same pattern that we did before on the title block. So I'll get it started. And here we 
we go. thread there we go all right we're going to go back to the other page so you can uh, sorry to the other table so that you can see how i finish this uh, part up all all right we are back at the crafting table i just want to show you how i feel uh, finish this up you can see here i've got some threads or maybe you can those really need to be uh, kept out of the way so i just take some tape and tape them to the back now one of the things you need to be careful about when you are doing sewing like this, you can see how close those stitches have come together. Sometimes that will weaken the whole paper. Um, and so that's one of the reasons I normally do it on a hard cardboard like that. It helps to hold it together. So, so there we go. Joey was a lap cat. And with the stitching along the side, uh, that same pattern, maybe different colors of thread, will be throughout the album, and it will help uh, hold the whole thing uh, together. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Would love to see your projects in the future. Take care. Mm -hmm.